What's up guys? My name is Carol. I'm a reseller on eBay and Poshmark and Macari and Depop. I go out and find things that are low in price that I can turn to make a profit online. Last night I went to Goodwill. It was dollar day. It was Thursday. And today's Friday. Let's do this. Woohoo! So excited. I love Dollar Day. We're going to find some great finds today. I really liked these shot glasses, but I was just on the hunt for dollar items today. That's my motto. I buy low and sell not really high but I make it high so I can send out offers to people I really thought these glasses were super cute but they weren't yellow so I passed on those You guys have to see this thing. It's made in France. If it wasn't broke, I would have totally picked this up. Look, it's like a beat up guy. His face is all swollen. <laughs> but the handle is broke off. I was so sad. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. The hard goods were completely cleared out of the yellow tags today. This stein was so cool. It was a music box. Darn it. Man, I wish I would have picked that up now looking at it. But it wasn't yellow and I have my own rules when I go out and thrift. Let me know in the comments below if you guys ever regret not picking up certain items that you see and you think about them for days and days and days. Because sometimes I do, I think about things that I pass up and I'm just not sure if this is an addiction that I have, but I really enjoy the thrill of the hunt. It's just so fun going to thrift stores and finding things. It's like treasure hunting and I love it. And plus, in a way, we're all uh, saving our planet from all of these left, all these items that people donate. Some of them get put in a landfill this pig was adorable. I'm not sure if you put a candle inside because it had holes on the top. I'm not sure if you put a candle in there and it kind of glows. He was so cute though.
This was such a pretty heart-shaped trinket dish. Be perfect for upcoming Valentine's Day. It wasn't a dollar, so I left that behind. And these vases were here the last time. They're so beautiful. I'm surprised nobody's bought them yet. The vase section is my one of my favorite sections to look through. I love the glass section. And these Art Deco vases were so pretty. They were glazed really beautifully. And there was three of them. But they weren't on sale, so I passed on those. I saw this really pretty black vase, and you couldn't see through it. It was like jet black. No, I didn't want to deal with that one today, so I left that one. And there was another one as well. But I found a great find next, so stay tuned. You're going to see it. Look at this, what I found. This is so pretty. I think it possibly could be uranium glass. I loved looking through the clothing and I saw these torrid shorts and it's going to be getting warm here soon so I decided to pick those up. I sell torrid very regularly so it sells very good for me. And now I'm on the hunt for more yellow tags. My plan for the shopping trip today was to look for mostly summer items and mainly people aren't looking for these items right now so I was hoping to find some good clothing items. I'm going to show you guys what I got, what I picked up. I'm going to start carrying my pistol when I go out at night. <laughs> Okay, like I, you saw in the video, all yellow tags were a dollar, and with my 20% off coupon, I paid 80 cents for all of these. I got this vintage homemade, or I don't know, I don't know if somebody made this themselves, but it's a vintage dress, and it has the little You can button it to where it's like this. So I think I'm gonna sell this on Depop. And then I got these Torrid shorts, size 18. I'm gonna to try to do this really fast because I don't want the video to be too long. And I got this beautiful Knox Rose size medium blouse. For 80 cents. I got this Rossi sweater. It's a black sweater. Love tree. That's anthropology. I got this. It's a dress and it's long sleeve. It was yellow. Beautiful dress. I got this beautiful Trina Turk dress. It's silk. There's no flaws on it. And here's the tag. Trying to do this before my kids get up and they run up the stairs and they're real loud. So. And then I got this jumper. I can't read, I can't read it. I'm gonna have to get my readers on, but it's a jumper, it's a shorts jumper. It's a very cute. This style is very popular. I got another shorts jumper. 
This is brand new with tags. The name is Miley and Molly. And this was a dollar. This floral boho jumper shorts. So pretty. This is gorgeous. So I think that'll do really well. This was $5.99. This was not on sale. And this is a Pierre Cardin sleeveless turtleneck sweater. And it's cashmere. And this does not have a brand, but it was the yellow tag. Just a pretty summer boho top and it has the the lace detail on the bottom. Plus in the back, it's open in the middle there. Up next we have another Knox Rose. This is a size medium. Bohemian top. And this was a dollar, so I ended up paying 80 cents for that. This is Big Dogs. It's called Big Dogs. It's a a fun sleeveless flannel. And this was a dollar, so 80 cents. Lori Goldstein logo. It's a tunic top, and it has these pockets and the bottom frill detail. I got an eyelash couture. This was $3.99, but it's a, a very light blouse, and it has the ruffle on the bottom. It's high-low, high in the front and low in the back, and there's a tie in the back. I thought that was very feminine and pretty. Grace Element, size 8, 100% linen top. And this was a dollar, so 80 cents. The ruffle detail. Now it's an anthropology brand. It's a size medium, and this was 80 cents. It has the high, high neck. It's just a beautiful summer blouse. This is American Dreams, size medium. This was $3.99. Very light floral, little cami blouse. Very pretty. These tags are giving me a hard time. This is Sophie Rue, extra large. This is Anthropology brand. It was a yellow tag. This is another just very pretty feminine summer blouse. You see my theme? Very pretty and feminine, everything. This is Paper Moon, an anthropology brand, size medium, yellow. So this was 80 cents. Another very pretty floral, romantic, feminine top. So I scored with all these summer tops because nobody's looking for summer things right now. This is Montu, Montu, Los Angeles. I think that's anthropology. It was $4.99. It was not on sale. But this is a floral, very pretty floral top as well. Very lightweight with these pretty little flutter sleeveless sleeves. That made sense. <laughs> We're almost done. This is just a Talbot skirt, sort of like a nautical skirt. And this was 80 cents. Bongo, vintage bongo pencil skirt, pencil mini skirt, and it's stretch. And this was 80 cents. It has a zipper in the back. I used to wear skirts like this in the 80s. <laughs> okay, two more, and then we're done. And then I got this just black, black basic tank top for 80 cents. And I spent $2.49 on this, but this is the highlight. I don't know if it's uranium glass yet. Let me go get a flashlight and see. Hold on. My keys. Does it work? Broken.
No, don't think it's uranium glass. Oh well, well it's still a pretty vase. I might keep this myself. <laughs> okay, so that's that's what I got last night. I almost got killed for all that. So I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you guys what happened to me last night as I was leaving Goodwill. I noticed there was a lot of like people with filled carts and they kind of just looked like they were up to something. The store was closing. My Goodwill in my neighborhood, they close at nine here. So it's dark and um, it just seemed like there was a bunch of people like scoping out the store and carts filled with stuff and they weren't dressed very nice they were kind of raggy and and what happened was is when they announced that they're closing i usually you know get the things and i want to get out to my car before closing because i get kind of scared but when i'm by myself so the manager was by the door watching the door and you know closing the door so nobody comes in and I got my packages and I left went out the door anyways a whole bunch of those people they like just started running towards the door and it freaked me out and they went out with like arms full of clothing so yeah I'm not sure if I'm gonna be going <laughs> thrifting at night anymore so ladies be careful when you're out at night I live in a really big city so I wish I lived in a small town maybe someday but until the next time guys go fly into profits see you on the next one and if you could do me a big favor and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if reselling content is something you're interested in seeing. Thank you!